Um, oh, the tweet I was talking about was this guy who said, "Sukinge kwa nyumba umetoka nje." Sukinge kwa nyumba umetoka nje. No, it's because I thought you'd continue. He, he <laughs> that was it, because even me scrolled, and then I was like... <laughs> anyway, Mwas. Yes, so, clarification, and I'll say this again. If there's anyone who's above 60, that's your grandmother. She's not your aunt anymore. <laughs> so you want to... Mwas is, Mwas is like, I want to my auntie's birthday. She's not turning 60. Birthday, 60. Yeah. If you go to my IG, because I'm on IG and Twitter only, yeah. right? My IG and Twitter, even if you go to my Twitter, and you repost to mic check, mic check. I don't... I, yeah. I don't know the last time I went on Twitter and said new tweets. Like Mwangi. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know. This homie says, that boys wangu kwa na some work strategies to meet new women. Kama leo, ananishwe tushike lab code na tuvuvuzela tude tukajishindia madaktari. That's how. Over 26. This is the Fraga Podcast. This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Fraga Podcast. The mics are cool. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. What up? My name is Chaxi V. Masamaya and your main guy, V. Lord Chaxi, the beautiful from Mara is around. The amazing Masamaya is around. The whole gang is around. What up? We are my Chaxi. Woo! Question. Question. Yeah. Question. Why is charisma always going back to the gym? Have you seen his stories? No. Every two weeks. First day back in the gym. <laughs> after travels from Masamaya. He's like, he's not guys, a regular guy. First day there. back in the gym. <laughs> after being consistent for two weeks. <laughs> first day back in the gym. I'm like, hey, bro, how many first days do you so have? You just say you, you've missed a couple of days and you're back. No. But how many times do you need to keep going back? See. First day back in the gym. Okay. After. Okay, okay. First day yeah. back in the gym, guys, I was in a writing camp in Mombasa. Okay, we saw on your stories. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Two weeks ago. First day back in the gym after being consistent for two weeks. <laughs> Before that, first day back in the gym after missing out for one month. Hey, bro. And I fact, to our first, I said, we're two back in the gym. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Like, he's always going back to the there's gym. There's no bro. day two. I'm a at, I'm at, I took a caption. That's it. I'm at, uh, yeah. I'd rather, okay, guys, I've been, in, I've been consistent in the gym for the last one month. Mm. Then first day back in the gym. After one month. Yeah, even tomorrow. First day back in the gym after waking the whole of last week. What you in the writing camp or working out? He was in a hotel <laughs> that gym. has a gym. <laughs> that has everything. <laughs> took a break. <laughs> um, did you guys uh, did you guys go watch uh go the TV on sandwich? No. Uh, Anyone that watched that episode? I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> those kids. Who's the those guy kids, for bro. Jabba? Yeah, I've seen snippets. Bro, yeah. <laughs> the whole episode. It's a taxin. I look at me. The E look at his side. I say manga. I was a customer. I say manga. If you recommend me by a panya. No. Eh? Have you ever seen a pregnant rat? No. Where? Where do you see a pregnant rat? <laughs> Even just seeing a rat is so rare. Can you Google. No, I can Google and no, know, but where yeah. will you know? See me by a panya in a tanga. <laughs> we have rats in the house. Please. No, I don't have rats. Are you in my sure? House. Pregnant you have rats in the house. <laughs> <laughs> if I see a rat in my house, they are moving out. <laughs> Same. A, a roach sour. We can fight. <laughs> but yeah. that, that, yeah. <laughs> that means the whole gang is there. Uh, yeah, because rats are never They never solo. go alone. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Once you, so see, you one see one rat, rat, it's a gang. Hammer. Yeah. I love they're always multiplying. Yeah, those motherfuckers give back to the first one. That's what you're saying. They just are nuisance and just fuck. That's all rats do. <laughs> what is rats' contribution to society? Genuinely speaking. I know we can talk about ecosystem or they mm. eat ants. They, no, they eat ants. No, I'm, I'm just saying we can talk about <laughs> an example, the ecosystem. But I'm just like genuinely. Apart from the food chain, what else yeah. do rats do in society? <laughs> they just. Job description, Nicola. <laughs> it's just him, <laughs> one. <laughs> Lorem Ipsum. <laughs> you got but I appreciate them that when they bite you, they blow on your, on your wound so that you don't feel it. Wait, like they randomly just bite people? Yeah, they can nibble on you and they'll... <laughs> I'm serious. So don't motherfuckers eat anything? Yeah. Even themselves. <laughs> no way. When they die. That's it. Mm. Each and other they when cook. they die. Wait, like, uh, uh, like a starving rat. Rata do it! <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> no, seriously, you've got No, it. but like a starving rat, I'm just randomly. That's normal. I feel like Chatty. rats would just eat anything. <laughs> okay. you feel even like, like a wet towel. <laughs> <laughs> they even cook. <laughs> they even cook. Moas, I can't deal so with They jump into now. people's hearts and then they use their hair to control. Excuse me. Again, you've seen the movie. Let's cut out Ratatouille from this situation. Okay. Oh, that's that's it's a movie this. about yeah. this rat that can cook. Me, just okay. Think. It's a master chef. Yeah. yeah, you know how rats are hated by chefs and dresses up. 
No, no. like an operate uh, under the another chef's hat. So I'm going to put this cook. with that. Yeah. yeah, see, he wears the chef's hat and the rat is inside. So I'm going to put this with that. And then uses that. the hair like a control. <laughs> Shout out to that rat. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Rat too. Shout out yeah. to that rat. The right, I need to look yeah. up that right and see what other movies is written. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that's easy. Going <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is the term that we are going with? Akohanda. 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 Yeah, because I'm like, how do you randomly think about that? <laughs> and it rats. was a blockbuster. Really? That yeah. movie was huge. Nothing it's had a sad. Bad. Is it like an animation or actually? Yeah, it is an animation. Okay, so it's not. I think I could pay my budget. That's a my one show, but they need to pay the rent. Can you imagine as the actor, the lead actor, getting that brief? What? I feel like this guy who acted Ghost Rider, Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage at some point in his career said yes to everybody. He's a lawyer. He's a ghost with Andudi. No, but that that one was played. Like whoever wrote Ghost Rider. Yeah. Did Ghost Rider ever have a sequel? Yeah, it had a two, but it was boring. <laughs> that sounds like an old movie. It, it, yeah. it is, but one, everything. It's about a devil with Andudi. It's nice. Because the name sounds familiar. Have I watched mm. it? He was Nothing killing bad people. Though. He was so, killing bad people? Yeah. Mm. Ah, so it was just a superhero movie? Basically. He sold his soul. I think there was a drop of blood. Yeah. And then he had to... That's how it starts. A couple of things, yeah. too. Yeah. So old movies were nice. So mm. there was... um Because I saw this on Butita's account. Mm. So finally... Facebook are going to uh, Facebook and Meta basically and Instagram mm. are going to allow us to finally monetize content from June. Yes, mm. I think there's a pilot going on. There's a few content creators who've been selected. Yeah, um, Jimu, you can monetize already. On yeah. Facebook. Okay. Anyway, he's been an OG on Facebook on yeah. forever. You know, makes so much sense. Yeah. Um. Then um. Sorry. Then I saw Terence mm. announced he has a new series coming up on Facebook. I'm like. <laughs> when oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Soon as <laughs> they yeah. announce, pop, boom. So, um, bro, I have. No, so I texted Vicky. Vicky mm-hmm. handles our socials. I'm like, Vicky, um, do you have Facebook? Then Vicky asked me, how does Facebook work? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I didn't expect Vicky to have Facebook. Because I, I have a Facebook account that I, I have do, no I idea no, how to use. log in. I don't remember what, what that thing looks like. Anyway, so we have a new Facebook account. Just because we can finally monitor. be able to monitor us on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. So kindly, if you're on Facebook, check us out at Mac Check Podcast. I think we only have like nine followers, which so is far. fine. Mm. Yeah, which Can is I fine. Try? Uh, I'll, go, I'll go try to remember my password. <laughs> you don't but have I them tried. saved on your phone? I, I can't remember the last time I logged into Facebook with my account. Mm. Let me tell you how crazy mine was. I don't so I was like, so I remember my email yeah. for my Facebook. But no, like, cool, let me go reset my password. Of course, I don't remember. But I'm mm. like, I can reset it. So I click on reset password. Mm-hmm. It sends a code to my Yahoo, bro. <laughs> That's how old I've not used my... <laughs> Because you know the thing with Facebook, even yeah. when I was doing the pod earlier, I had linked IG to Facebook. Yeah. But I was not using Facebook. Yeah. So whatever I'd post on IG would have been automatic. Facebook, but I, I completely know have don't have access. Yeah. So I'm like Yahoo. So I, anyway, I go Google. Yahoo to check. I check uh, so I, I click <laughs> forget <laughs> password. To reset the password is my old number. It it confirmed oh. code on that number. I'm like, I don't have the number. So, you know, I don't have a code. You could have called Facebook. the guy and be like, Kuna code <laughs> Oh, yeah, because they reassigned the yeah. numbers after some time. Maybe you could have Actually, tried that, yeah. I could try that. I'm going to call and be like, you submit your code. So, but anyway, so, so I had to create mark. a new Facebook because mm-hmm. to create a page, you need to have a personal a piece, account. Yeah. Yeah. So, I created a new personal page that I'll never use, but mm-hmm. for the sake of the page, kindly follow the page. Yeah. Um. Then, um, Okay, we're we getting into stories. So I just want to shout out channel members. We have a few new members. Nice. I'm going to go through the list again. I want to know how many members we have when you're done. Last time, <laughs> we argued Ooh, about his 14, math, His math was so wrong. Mine was ah, right. So, you know, so, so I'll read no, the so names. Gina Vizuri, I'll read the names and then we'll just do one. So, so, we can't wait. so Musa with the birds I view. Mm-hmm. John Major Otieno. Mm-hmm. Kitawi Mwakitele, who's Tele. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Graham Abaga, mm-hmm. Lamek Gaita, Philip Wafula, Sizla KYS, mm-hmm. Ray Wanjiku, Michael Nzioka, Timothy Mwendwa, Joan Wambui, Thiongo Ndungu, Jeff M. Njogu, Teddy Ngunya, Richie Haniel, Goldrick Karanja, Raymond Ngwili. Okay, hold up, Raymond Ngwili. Uh, Basil Bukoma, Peter Mwangi, and RK. 20. Mbao. For real? Mm. Yeah. We have 20 members? Mm. Yes. Shout out to them. Shout out to all the <coughs> 20 members, man. Anyway, Mwas. Yes, so, clarification. And I'll say this again. 
If there's anyone who's above 60, that's your grandmother. She's not your aunt anymore. <laughs> so you went to your grandma's house. is like, I went to my auntie's birthday. She's not turning 60. So you went to your grandma's birthday. You know, 60 so, is like a milestone here. Yeah, honestly. I know, because it was first her birthday and her retirement. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Same time. Because 60, yeah, because 60 is... The cutoff. The cutoff for... Yeah. And she's been serving in government for, I think... Nice. 40 years, I don't know. Is she bowling? Yeah. She's doing well. Is she bowling? She's doing, she's doing, she's doing for herself. Is she bowling? I don't. I've not seen her finances. Okay. But, but does she look like she's bowling? Fantastically, yeah. <laughs> ah, nice. And I can't go. I go pazuri. Okay. Pazuri. It so was a beautiful how's day. How's the evening? Yeah. Uh, it was during the day. It was a surprise. So we caught her by surprise. Um, all her friends were there. Some colleagues from her former workplace, family, the family that we have, and the family that has come because of marriages and kids and all that. Yeah. So it was beautiful. We surprised her. We gave her gifts. My dad made all of us say a speech. We were like nice. 50 of us, yeah. 50? So, yeah, we were like 50 of yeah, us. Dad, we all said a speech. That's the most, bro. So that's how I say 50 to skis the speeches. No, my dad enjoys being an MC because he runs all the jokes. Zina Gonga, Zime Gonga. Open mic. Because me, I've had them. <laughs> Every <laughs> Harambe. <laughs> 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 the same jokes. Yeah. So in his Kikuyu name, he's called Kifogo, which means zero. So what? he calls himself Zero Man. And then he said, like, in Nikona Kakito. But that makes, you know. I've had that joke like 40 times. It makes so much sense because. You Where you get that as the guy who has the same routines over the years. Yeah. Yes. So then, even if you are a, someone who's naturally funny, mm. you don't have extra context. Like your context is always the same. Yeah. yeah. So how do you get context for new jokes though? Mm. So it's funny. He was the MC. We, we made little speeches. We got gifts. We wrote cards. It was nice. It was very wholesome. And then started kind of share. Of course. <laughs> We went to a party for a one year old. <laughs> so there was wait, there was a party for a six year old and a yeah, one year old. Year same old. family, yeah. Same, yeah. same family. So they were happening concurrently. Yeah. Um, Different places. Yeah, but they were like five minutes away. So we finished on one side because this one was during mostly the day afternoon, towards the evening, like eight. And then the other one, I think, started at five. <laughs> for the one year old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was so ball. I mean, that but, was a wedding, right? I in gear did like a whole big tent. That looks like the one for like blankets or folk fusion. Like it the could sit like hundred or G what people. Yeah, there's deco. And then there's like the thing is, next year I want one for my birthday. Like it's like a plaque that just says happy birthday, Moss. That's old school, mm. bro. Forget it's it. So big. It was nice. And then it had like decoration and stuff. And because they, there were three kids involved, so they also did like for the other kids so that they just ask, why is this? Surely. Yeah. Brad, it's well, not why? their birthday. Why? Exactly. <laughs> If my birthday is 10th September, <laughs> say it's 27th September, I'm saying September, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Mine passed already, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how do you explain to a three-year-old why they're it's all It's not your birthday. This is life. I know. That's fine, bro. <laughs> three-year-old. We yes. skip this year, yes. we do it next just year. Just build them a, a, a no, plaque. No, 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 And have them take no. photos. They'll forget. But then, so a one-year-old, no. you begin at 5 p.m. So by 8 p.m., they're asleep. Mm. Five, 7.30. Bro, I think I, I don't think Depending even on how well... Because I'm a bebo, I'm a newlywed, they're so over it. They just I feel like crash. a one-year-old just takes naps through the day. Like, I don't <laughs> think there's <laughs> bedtime. That's, that's, that's it's a big just, child. Just, I mean, like, six hours of six hours after. No, that's yeah. a big so child. Good. So what time did you get for the one years? Uh, I think around 10 10. Was the one year still up? No. <laughs> there were no babies. <laughs> there was a DJ. There was a bartender who's a big checkmate. He's called Laban. Shout out to Laban. And then, yeah, just a bunch of parents doing the, the shuffle. <laughs> the most. <laughs> and, and it didn't kill our time. <laughs> we left guys there at four. <laughs> for one year old who slept at 7 p.m. Yeah. Crazy. But now the parents are explaining, like, this is for us, for getting them to one year. I was like, we're going to be here for two. <laughs> 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 this are, we are assured three parties are here. Yeah. <laughs> Keep them for coming. Kids, yeah. <laughs> but it was fantastic. It's just crazy to see how like people can go all out for like the people they love. You yeah. should, as you yeah. should. It was outside catering. All their friends were there. There was like a kiddie set up with bouncing castles and CG. Those are my horses for the malls. Mm. Yeah. And then there was a lot of alcohol. For the grown-ups. Um, like it was a fully stocked bar. Yeah. You can go order a martini. I'm always very fascinated by those horses in the malls. Mm. What? Well, if you saw me at Westgate, you know, it looks so weird. But I swear, all the time I see them, I'm like, fuck. You want to try them? In your next No, life. I really want to try them. Get I'm like, city, if I looked right, yeah. left, 
<laughs> okay, which, which, which mall is dead in Nairobi? <laughs> Taj Mall. Road. Taj Mall was demolished. <laughs> this is a thicker road. Apple this is a thicker road. road. <laughs> this was due to the city mall. I'm sure those malls are not active. If I look right to left, there's no one. I swear. Utapanda. Utapanda your shit. You know you're the most recognizable person. What is it? What is it? What is it? Funga kitambaka mam kori. Amuta vaile mas. Alafu vai shades kubwa. You know, I have a balaclava in my house. Like an orange Even one. Even better. So, I tried it on. It hangs. Like, it's because... Yeah. <laughs> So you make holes for the hair. So it has. So even if I make holes Forget for the, for the hair. eyes, like you can do like like a few cuts for the so hair. So imagine everything is covered, but there's this. This is too hanging. Don't go like taxi. That would be scary. Hey. Hands up, taxi. Naga kama munga bado ana load. Jamaliza kudo load. Let's get into things that happened this week. Hey, it's been a long minute. That's the so, today. Oh yeah, because we recorded Thursday mm. night. Yeah. yeah. And our schedule is about to change. We'll discuss that later. Mm. Fantastic. And, uh, yeah, you know you're excited. Because <laughs> uh, you and hangovers. No, <laughs> I got my weekend Sunday. back. Like last weekend, I got my weekend back. I did things on Saturday and did things on Sunday. When you not hangover? No, I went out of town, watched races. Okay, when you not hangover on back. Thursday when we recorded? No. Thursday is the day I came straight from work till here. Yeah, but were you still not hangover? I was not. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, the previous weekend. So, mm-hmm. uh, Brandy posted a video on, um, on her um, Instagram. One mm-hmm. well, shout out to Brandy, man. Shout out to Brandy. So, I want to play the video, and then mm-hmm. we'll discuss it. I don't even want to tell you what the, what the context is about. I can advice. <laughs> Plenty. Brandy on a kind of game. Hey, Dana, white cup. Dana. <laughs> 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 You, Bro, you can't sleep on your camera. I've seen your face. I'm not a social. I think. You look like you're going to be a one. What kind of thing, Thomas? So context said to me to go lunch. Very liquid lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot discuss. All you can eat. I cannot discuss today next week. Yeah, you know, right? <laughs> First agenda of the Wednesday episode. This is today. <laughs> anyway, <I can't, laughs> you know why? <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is the video. Uh-huh. It has. I'm in the shower. I get this melody. Oh, admit it. Oh, admit. Oh, ad- Clive was my manager back then. Help me get a venue to shoot this kubali acoustic in Buruburu. We go to Buruburu. Turns out it's a church. <laughs> I'm in a short red dress. I'm singing a secular song. It's 2 p.m. right now, and we've not shot anything. So I tell Clive, you need to come up with a solution. So he says, there's a small garden as we're preparing to leave. One of the pastors of the church with his wife, they approach me, call up your team, come we pray. He prayed that we'd find a venue, that this video we're about to shoot would be very successful. There was so much traffic. It's now 5 p.m. We're rushing. We shot it in like 30 to 45 minutes and it was perfect. Did it blow up? It never blew up, baby girl. This is after Dinja Dinji. So kuna kidogo pressure. One year after, someone found the song, posted it on TikTok. And it blew up. There's a lot of things happening up there that we don't understand from down here. I was so jammed up about the traffic. Kumbe, all of that was to make sure we're going to get to Clive's place in time where the light is perfect to go with my skin. Just because your dream is not coming true now doesn't mean your light isn't still shining. I wasn't ready one year ago. So it blew up after one year and I was ready. Because after dropping Kubali, I went into a series of learning how to dance, doing small gigs. I was ready to be on bigger stages. If it had blown up when I wanted it to, I don't think I'm in the shop. <laughs> no, no, get the context, yeah. Timing, bro. Roller coaster of emotions in that storytelling. Right. <laughs> That's like comedy concert when the pastor showed up. Was like, hmm? Adam, I was like, <laughs> and then they played for the <laughs> video. Wait, about the pastor showing up. Yeah. So you dress up nicely in like a short dress. You know how branded dresses. Yeah. So we're yeah. going for a video shoot. Turns church. out the venue is a church. And then you're Bless confused. You. <laughs> then the pastor says, Come, we pray, pray for, you for, you pray for Bless the video. Him. Then the video doesn't blow up. Bless you. Yeah. And then it does. Yeah. And then when it finally blows up now, mm-hmm. you are more ready because in that gap, because now Danger Dingy was yeah. one of the biggest songs when yeah. Danger Dingy came out, yeah. but you don't have a backup song. So now you can imagine the pressure. We are discussing with fame. Yeah. Yeah. When you get your first hit, yeah. what pressure the comes with that one. pressure? You know what I mean? But now for brandies, like, you know what? I'm going to go back to the basics. Perform in small spaces, learn how to dance, improve yeah. my craft, blah, blah, blah. This blows up and then now you're ready. I like the line she says, like, we don't know what's happening up there True. when you're down here. Taxi are late in this hour. No, I hear you. I hear you. I, hear you. I, agree. I agree with everything you said. No, but it just talks about um, timing. Because I, I think, I don't know, did we, 
we address this in uh, SNS. Because mm-hmm. someone asked about, you know, we've been doing content yeah. for two yeah. years now, nothing's, nothing's happening, moving, nothing yeah. is moving. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um <laughs> to find a job. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then it goes back to genuinely speaking, right? Yeah. If you believe in what you do and you figured a way to do it, mm. then just keep doing it. Mm. The only problem is also you have to be realistic with yourselves. Yeah, you know true. what I mean? This pod is not making money yet. We have other things we do mm. to make money, sustain this going. You mm. know what I mean? So imagine if you waited for this to make money to keep doing it. Or if you yeah. waited for us to own a studio, on our own gear to do True. it. We we'll never yeah. have done it. You know or, what I mean? Or if we quit our jobs on episode three. Exactly. It, yeah. <laughs> Ama, imagine if you did two episodes, show blows up. Completely quit everything because now the show is blown up. Yeah. Yeah. And then a few years later. Just dips. Just dips. Mm. And then you start asking yourself, fuck. What is, you know, the it factor. What, what if, happened? What if, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It just speaks to timing, bro. Some people it takes 10 years. Yeah. Some people it takes two years. Some people it takes one episode. Some people it takes... <laughs> One song. A thousand. One song. You know what I mean? True. Do you remember the perfect story to describe this would be Nyboy? Mm. Nyboy was rap dumb for how many years, bro? Yeah. Nothing ever. Okay. Rebrand. Rebranded to Nyboy. Nyboy and just And two then both. he was just twin one. <laughs> Randomly, bro. <laughs> 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 so it just talks about when I watched it, I was like, oh shit. And it also really... just being graceful, like extending grace to yourself. Because I I can understand Brandy, because sometimes you know when you're passionate about something, you really just want things to work in your time frame. So being gracious and just extending that grace yourself to say, you know what, in as much as whatever I envision for myself is not exactly what is the reality right now, Mm. you just keep pushing. Yeah. But there's so much beauty in the unknown. Like, you never just know. Yeah. Yeah, Isn't that the fun of life? Yeah. Can you imagine if you... Fun? Yeah. Imagine if you knew how your Monday would be A to Z. Then then it becomes boring. Because you anticipate... Imagine if you knew exactly when you'll fall in love. Be well, be the December, wild. 2026. Oh, no, that is wild. 2026. That is wild. Imagine. <laughs> in between, there's yeah. a wild vibe. <laughs> or something as, imagine if, even if you didn't know when, but if you knew who you'd fall in love with. Yeah. Because now the first time you ever meet them, the it kills yeah. everything. But if you knew how your Friday will be A to Z, hey. then okay, it becomes yeah, more, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the fun of life. Yeah. That's the fun of or life. Or if you knew, like, if I drop this song for sure, it's going to blow. Bang up. Yeah. Two million views by this evening. Yeah. Five million by next morning. True. Touring by tomorrow. Or imagine if you knew the course of this podcast, where this would go. Mm. One would talk like, five years just to get here. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you know, it comes, I'm saying, be, ah. Two years. Now, if imagine if you yeah. knew how, how, where the pod would be in five years, mm. and it doesn't make sense or align to where you want to be in five years, yeah. and then it kills it the entire kills vibe. The you know what I mean? The reason why this is exciting is we show up every week yeah. and we just... We just keep going. Bro. We really don't beauty, know. You know so what I mean? Yeah. In that, no, no. yeah, we just show up. Mm. So shout out to everyone who's creating, bro. Because the thing is, I know. I don't know whether you guys get all these DMs with favors and whatnot and mm. advice and I don't know whether you guys. Say told me I've just unlocked a new side of my Instagram today. Yeah. Up uh, any I've been screw up. Uh, Gosh, as I I don't even know what to say. This just pay information, you <laughs> I know. No, because dude, I have people. As in, that's what I'm telling you. I'm I'm honestly still trying to process everything that I've just seen okay. on my request side. Dude, people have reached out to me to be a moderator on their things. These gigs have passed me like that. Yeah. Mm. People have reached out. Let me send you this. Let me send you that. Let me do this. I'm like. Fuck, where have I been? She's yeah. having a T-Pain moment. Remember in T-Pain? <laughs> exactly. And then it was all blue checks. Yeah, like, it was Diplo. Let's have collab. Song I want us to work on. <laughs> yeah, Three years ago, bro. <laughs> I'm not even done opening those messages. Like, ninyingi. Are there any weird ones? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. You so... know, the, the thing with... Because now, I, like, I receive DMs, but it's not too many DMs that I can't see. Mm-hmm. So I'm still in that position where... I'm able to see them. Wait, so but all your DMs also, just come in straight? No, not straight. Mm-hmm. Okay. But see, of course, I'll get on my DM, I'll see 700, 10 and red. So mm-hmm. I'll, I'll decide... No, like, do you have a request side? Everyone has yeah. a request Because mine have requested, now there's hidden requests. So that's where I found all... Hidden requests. Hidden requests. Yeah, I'll show you. We may have the... Four I just have the request. Me, I've, I've, put, I've put we... my settings in a strange way. So yeah, so I have, I have hidden follow, follow me, it just comes directly into the inbox. Exactly. If it's a new person, it comes under request. And then after we start chatting, it moves. Yeah. Hidden requests, so they're like, yeah. No one can hear it's you. It's a bunch of them. It's yeah. a ba- like yeah. it's a bunch <laughs> no. of messages, yeah. and I'm like, guy, I've literally missed on half half of my life on that side. Because the thing, even with, with my Nini, with my social, mm-hmm. is 
Because I think that's the thing I'm struggling with not having, why I'm not even on TikTok, is what do I post? You know what I mean? Because even my, if you go <laughs> to my IG, Chuck. it's just Mike Chuck. <laughs> 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 That's true though. Even yeah. if you go to my IG, because I'm on IG and Twitter only, yeah. right? My IG and Twitter, even if you go to my Twitter, and you repost to Mike Chuck, Mike Chuck. I don't, I, yeah. I don't know the last time I went on Twitter and said new tweets, like Mwangi. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't like those moments. You know what I mean? I know. <laughs> so you do a challenge this week, tweet like Mwangi once a day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good challenge. <laughs> but see, so. <laughs> they have to be funny. Come on, you like I saw the funniest tweet. I wish I could have my It's phone. like that day I lost yeah. a bet. And the bet was when I lost the bet is I needed to document my life yeah, for a full day. Full day. Yes. That was the most stressful Hectic. day of my whole life, bro. Because <laughs> it was like everything. Just go to the mall, shook Yeah, and I was like, and I accepted. I'm like, you know what? It's, it's, it's a fun it's challenge. A nice Let challenge. me do it. Mm. I was like, never again. <laughs> <laughs> so even if you go to my AG, it's same thing. It's just mic check. So I'm like, if I open a TikTok, what am I going to post? Mike? Just mic check. check. But it's already on mic check. Of course. <laughs> Can you call Speaking a of on TikTok, TikTok and mic check, <laughs> there's a guy, there's a, there's a yeah. checkmate I need to shout out. I think the, the name of his account is not Little Maina. Mm-hmm. Every episode of Mike Check, this nigga posts it on his page. Oh, like Make sure he tags us. And the- Shout out to you. Snickers, yeah. He screen records the bits of the episodes that he likes mm. and he posts it. Oh, sure. Mm. Bless him. That's, that's Bless fire, him. Fire, yeah. but, but I'm like, when, when I have things to post, of course, I'll just get mm. a page. You know what I mean? Rick, Rick signed me up for TikTok. Now, that's, our, that, that's our love language. Me and Rick, every day. So many DMs, bro. Every day. It's, it's like seven videos in an hour. You're like, Rick. In an hour? In an hour. For, so you have Dude, and he sequel. keeps sending them. <laughs> Look at this alligator getting circumcised. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't know they get circumcised. And then you go like, now nah, I want to. <laughs> uh, but uh, shout out to Brandy, Brandy. man. Brandy. Um, oh, the tweet I was talking about was this guy who said, Sukingia kwa nyumbo umetoka nje. Ukinge kwa nyumba umetoka nje. That's because I thought you'd continue. He, he <laughs> that was it. Because even me scrolled, and then I was like, "When a lot of ukinge kwa nyumba umetoka nje for real, like you just came from outside the media, Danny." Ukinge kwa nyumba umetoka nje. Imagine me lord. Imagine you gali, you gali. You know me laughing for like a good. I think I was on the loo. I laughed back at everything came out. <laughs> Wait, it never comes out. I said, so I got half content. Look, it just needs content. Oh to my food, god! Bro. <laughs> no, it's a new, it's a new <laughs> phenomenon. You know, you have hara peke ake. But then what? At the age of age, born on a hara, bro. Surely. The age of age, you. No, weren't you haring on Friday? I was. Thank you. <laughs> but that was Friday. <laughs> that's Today all, is that's Sunday. All you this needed to be seen say. on Wednesday. But that's big all you needed to say. At the big age, born on a hara, bro. Who still hara? But next time now you're hosting na kama lags at him. Mara aksha make spaghetti sauce na kato. Wow. Like today. Kutaimba. Na tumia chozo tesa inyumbo. You have to go back to how brilliant that tweet is though. Yeah. Kini ya kunyumbo umetoka inje. Can we use it as an episode title? And- <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Uh, someone text as an the episode group. title, though. For this. Ukingia kwa nyumba, umetoka inje. Koma. Umetoka inje. Oof. Someone Bro, post that. If I look for it, I think I favorited it. Bro, because when I do one, it's a pita wase wengi, but as they listen to the episode, that will make sense. Now, when you watch it. I'll be trying it. When I'm driving long distance with people, imagine one BMC MQ or Thika. <laughs> Kwanza, when you say you don't emphasize, so that yeah. if they get it, they get yeah, it. If, if they don't, it's alright. It's alright. Collect to mengi kwa nyumba. Madness. Ah, oh, anyway. <laughs> Whew, oh, so a heavy good. one, man. Mm. Bran Shira, bro. That was so unfortunate, man. Roller cost of emotions. Because I'm just thinking. In the context of his life, he must have lived such an in- interesting life too, mm. you know. Because the thing is, none of us, none of us decides when we come into this existence, and mm. none of us decides when we live. So for Shira to have lived the life he lived, um, and especially deciding when we live is kind of debatable. But go on. Okay. Yeah, debatable. But, but even yeah. if even if you talk about maybe guys who get the point where taking their own life is the only option, is that you don't preempt that. True. Yeah. You get to that point, but you don't preempt it. Yeah. So the thing is, you never yeah. really know when that True. moment comes, you know. But for him to have lived, 
to be so young and had everything in his life, whether he wished for or mm. he was influenced or socialized, uh, just display in public like he mm. did yeah. and have all his faults in public, all the moments he had to apologize. Mm. He basically learned to be himself in the public eye. True. And then for it to just and go away was. in a snub, it just leaves me with moments of what could have his life turned to be. Remember mm. when we were talking about earlier yeah. in the car, we were like, People don't get just one chance in life. Yeah. So it's okay for people to Pretty generally, grand. and this was even in regard to when discussing Tele to be like, yeah. it's okay for someone to fuck up. Yeah. If you genuinely want to redeem yourself, yeah. I think life should always give you that chance. You yeah. know. Yeah. So for Shiraz to just snap like that, bro, yeah. and especially in the in the manner in the, which it happened, that was tragic. It felt like it just happened in like all his troubles were sort of televised, and they happened in like a short span of time. But still felt like a lot. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't I don't think two years ago I knew who he was. was or I don't know I don't know when he came online with um like his first could be video. The, could be literally it could be, it could be the in, the interview. No, because mm-hmm. we started our pod exactly two, two years, years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. But the early episodes we didn't know who Shira was. Yeah. I, we, no, we didn't. We, we when we started talking about my name is Dre, it was later. No, no, forget forget before he became a TikTok personality. Yeah. Actually, the first time we heard of Chira. Was when he was he was a witness for in some the accident. Yes, yeah. but so I think he I the, that his video, clip was trending yeah. because so of the enduro enduro. So, so it became a thing. Okay, okay. That, that was fished from his past. Yes, no, no, no. Yeah. That's when Chira like we first saw this man. Yeah. Okay. Anywhere on the screen. But me, me, I'm talking about like Anti- getting an in depth, yes. yeah. 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 an in depth detail into his life and his troubles and yeah. everything. When he became TikTok when famous, he became TikTok famous, which is like two years ago, maybe. I am not too sure. I hear some change. Yeah. Yeah. Because it feels like it's such a short span, but in that short span, we've seen everything. So much. Yeah. There's been going live, there's been G being saved, there's been moving, relocating, starting businesses, to canine people, apologizing, being taken to court. Yeah. Wanking being, on, online. It's been a lot. Yeah, a lot of things. And, and then back first, to back. I think also because yeah. it's been, today it's this, tomorrow it's that. Next week, he's chill. Mm. Three weeks, Sujia may disappear. Happy. Boom, he comes back with another one. Yeah, it's... He's definitely, he was definitely troubled and it was just so unfortunate that... I wouldn't say troubled. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, there's that bit, but for me... How do you define he was troubled? No, I'm saying there's that, because he, he would you, he would openly say, like, you know, with the HIV, battling HIV, mm. all, like, there was a lot that was happening, you know, being an orphan, mm. he was, you know, he's very bright, he had to drop out of school, not because he wanted, just because he's trying to ease his grandmother's burden, so mm. also his cousins can also finish high school. Like, there was just a lot of trouble, but in all that... Mm. With the drama, you know, the TikTok, the trending Nini, mm. he really just was a boy who was trying to do better for himself. Mm. Like all this, I feel for me, was just a means for, of him trying to survive. Yeah. yeah. He needed to do what he needed to do. Basically. Because yeah. sometimes when someone shows like an attitude of, like a don't care attitude proper, it's they've, they've gotten to a point where they're really at the edge of it yeah. completely. So if they go online and do something that you wouldn't even think about ever doing online, mm. It's That's rock just bottom. Like I have yeah. nothing to lose. Yeah. I've lost everything and I'm troubled and this is me at the edge of my seat. Yeah. And then, yeah. Because ask myself, if, if, <laughs> if I was Shira's age and TikTok was as big as TikTok is or any social media platform mm-hmm. and if you, if you became just an instant hit like that mm-hmm. with as much controversy that came with him, I wonder what I'd have turned out to be. You know what Honestly, I mean? Honestly. Mm-hmm. You have those moments. That's a lot. Because now, if... Looking back, based on how much experience and the life you've lived, mm-hmm. some of these things... That's why I'm like, sometimes extend grace to these kids. Mm-hmm. Exactly. For sure. You know, there's things, there's things... Even if you had the best people around you, sometimes you there's really just don't that know thing better. within yourself where yeah. you go through things to learn from those things. Because even me, I've fucked up so many times. True. Mm-hmm. It's just that it never happened in the public light. But mm-hmm. also, I had a chance to correct, to correct things for myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... Some people don't have that chance, bro. Yeah. Mm. Especially when, when you are like Branchera. I don't, want to, say, I don't want to say popular, but Branchera famous. Yeah. Because it's mm. a mix of famous and popular. Yeah. True. That's crazy, man. <sighs> no, but also, um, wait, I, I don't want to dive into religion, but let me just dive into it a bit. Uh-uh. Pause. You don't want to, but let me get to. Let me get my point in. Calm down. Power of the tongue. Okay. For very, very many videos, Chira would say things like, you guys, don't, you guys don't give a fuck about me. You know, Jakesha neza tembe na ni gongwe na gari neza kufa. Really? He'd say things yeah. like those. There's so many videos of him saying, neza tembe apa ni gongwe na gari. You, you get what I mean? You need to be very careful of the things that you prophesy or things that you 
speak on yourself. You never really, you will never understand what power you hold in your tongue till things actually start to manifest. Naweza kuwa millionaire. Imagine it and it, do say it. Multi millionaire. Say it. But you also have to work towards multi-currency it. Multi currency millionaire. So you're saying Shira worked towards that No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm just saying power of the tongue. I will leave my point at that. Okay. No, it's self explanatory, man. Yeah. But he's and then also it's also the um, sort of the controversy that came with it. Um the bigger discussion was um uh, in line to people don't get the flowers when they're alive but mm. now for sure wouldn't be flowers exactly it's more of people don't get the support they probably need when they're alive but mm. as soon as you are dead everyone tries yeah, to would. help mm. um and i think there was you know when KRG was like I'll, let's take him to a better morgue mm. and I'll, I'll sort that be, uh, that that bill I'll get a, a better coffin for him, whatever, whatever. Like, yeah. I'll take care of whatever I've decided yeah. I'll take care of. Yeah. And then, guys, and, and he was upfront. He said, listen, me, I never met this dude. Mm. I only know him from socials. But based on his situation, I know he's an yeah. orphan. He went through all these things. Listen, yeah. I'll do X, Y, Z. Yeah. Just yeah. to give him a decent send-off. Um, then the close friends have raised, you're saying it's now almost, almost 10, 10, 10 plus, Mike, as, yeah. as, 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 as per now when you're recording, right? Sunday, yeah. Yeah. So 10 plus M. Um, yeah, and then there's just a bigger conversation of People just sort of don't seem to be that supportive when you actually need the help alive. True. It changes when someone dies. I don't know, man. Yeah. I feel like Shira got a lot of help. <coughs> the ones that I know yes. from, uh, really from Obina, because yeah. I remember Nyako. I watched his episode on Obina. Yeah. Uh, to Nyako. Yeah. Nyako even. Forget, forget even the popular ones, even yeah. Kenyans themselves. Like when he had yeah. the court case, these diggers raised, I don't know how much for him. Yeah, for legal. Random yeah. people. And, and even on his random lives, people yes. send him money. Yes. Yes. Send yeah. the, the lions and the whatever, the flowers yeah. and the roses. Because yeah. also yeah. there's the bit of, if I'm going through something and I don't maybe openly say it, then also it's very possible for you, even as my close friends, not mm. to know how to support me. Very true. It's very different from, I came to you guys with something that I mm. knew maybe you could help me with and you were not able to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I think I think he received he received love yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, he did receive, of course, hate. It's normal. Yeah. We yeah. live in the society we live in. But yeah. also, I know for sure he received a lot of love True. and a lot of support. Uh, me, I think the only thing I don't personally, as Jack say, agree with mm -hmm. is just expensive funerals. I don't see the need for those yeah. things. True. I know Shira has a family. He's an orphan. Was he the only kid? Yes. Okay. But the grandmother is alive. Yes. Yes. The grandmother the had required no had preferences in how he should be buried and yeah. whatnot. So I agree with okay if you need to raise money let's raise money. Mm. I just don't agree with don't spend millions of shillings to bury someone. Yeah. I feel like it's that a waste money of could money. be could go into be better use. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like saying you are not well off but then you spend so much money in doing a nice wedding and yeah. then after the wedding you get just broke. Yeah, but yeah back to debt. You know what I mean? Mm. That's okay raise if you if people say it's our for your union will support you That's then different. use that money for something else that could sustain you. Yeah. yeah. Um, because I've been before I remember I was just randomly added into our WhatsApp group for a funeral. I'm like, okay. We've not been close with that family for years, mm -hmm. but they played a, a, a part in my upbringing in a way. I was like, you know what, it's, it's cool. Mm -hmm. But then for a family that is struggling, for you guys to suddenly raise, for you suddenly to come and say now for the burial, mm -hmm. uh, we've done our budget, but it's 2.5M. That's Damn. insane. 2.5M for a burial. Could do so much so, for you. Yeah. For you, because Either way, you're still struggling. Yeah. Why spend two to five million on a barrel? Yeah. Because I, I, I believe a, dis, a decent send-off is a, a send-off that you can afford. That's True. what I believe. Same as a decent wedding. It's a wedding that you can afford. Mm. True. I don't know, man. Me, I'm still... A, I don't agree with spending more than... More, too much money in a mm. I agree. Yeah. I call someone a decent send-off, so, but within yeah. means. If maybe there's a bill left behind and there's things to yeah. Exactly, so like it could sort. Most, that's so, one thing, yeah. yeah. But just for the burial program itself. Yeah. Come on, man. It's and a dead know, person. Even, even the guys, the guys in, in that, do I call it business? In that Biashara, also use the decent send-off to Make money. take advantage of families. I'd say take advantage. Because someone will tell you this is a coffin for 40K. This one is 80K. If you want him to rest well, this one is 120. Mm. This, this one is pure options, mahogany. Yeah, so, this one is so like, with a gold detail. Yeah. Like, hey, and those things no. are all literally going to be yeah. eaten up. Bro. Thank you. Yeah, all like, of them. You Thank can you. get a house, you can get a Nissan. So you have with a, a lock. I was like, why do you need a lock? I even the house, so you, yeah. like, you have options. You can get a Benz, a Benz. you can get a Nissan. The you one get, that's, like you yeah. have options for, and all of them come at different prices. And you know, people will have all those, like, they're called what? Those loose statements that people have. Kwenye mpendi mtu wenye mnamweka kwa Nissan. 
mm. or stuff like that. Yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. whole life. Mm. Do you? Throw off. Yeah. I mean, we're not saying don't, you, you know, you bury your people the way you want. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, end of the day, it's yeah. up to you. But I'm just, I just feel like just don't give wise. yourself that pressure yeah. Yeah. that it has to be at a certain standard. Mm. When even when these people are alive, it was not a standard yeah, they that ever they had. Yeah. True. Because you've seen people buy expensive suits for someone they never bought a suit for ever. Forget a suit, a tie. Mm. Sounds like it's you're going to be buried in a 100k suit. It's madness. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to be so, so my wife... Who who make the happy story? Na nda kwanisha GDP in advance. Who make the happy story? Sijengilia mali na sema tu ilikuwa disclaimer. Oh shit, sorry. You wanted us to play a clip. Yeah. So let me play this. So this is a clip my round us to play for Shira. <laughs> so the caption is how will TikTok be in Kenya without Shira? Right? Hai? What's the caption? Yeah. That... Oh, it's a compilation. Okay, oh. let me play. It's just no, it's not a comp- Is it a compilation? Just what? Just play the make... video. Ah, okay. So let me just play the video. It. So this Shira's video before I forget. Let's go, Shira. I'm driving, Shira. <laughs> Let's get Tanzania. I'm shower, I shall more. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, we're bro. Rosare. Could I take some pay roses? That's the one that you had. Damn. When she might watch. Cassie Zari. I'm going to go, Mota. I'm going to go, Mota. Salimini. Hey, 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 I know, right? <laughs> and nice no, niggas, so, This is in response to when there was the Tanzania, Tanzania, Tanzania Kenya, Kenya beef. <laughs> I do, like, listen. Do you know, there was an October breeders do nani? What will TikTok be without Chira? Honestly, yes, niggas. Man, Shira, man, yes, Shira, man for the life yeah. you live. Honestly, shout out to you, man. You did what you needed to do, man. Go well. Honestly. Whew. Anyway. So I saw this, I thought I, I took this screenshot. <laughs> this is Lingba. For those who don't know Lingba, Lingba is Ben Sol's manager. Uh Ah, come on, let me find Lingba. So they're in the in the UK now. And then Ling, Lingba posts this on his Instagram stories. Ah, la, la, la. Come on. Okay, there we go. So Lingba says, uh, looking for an intern. Mm-hmm. Requirements. Number one, polite, humble, and respectful. Mm-hmm. Second, disciplined and hardworking. Mm-hmm. Third, organized. Fourth, can work under pressure. Mm-hmm. Fifth, must have swag in brackets sharp sharp. <laughs> 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 Number six, computer literate. And then says it's a paid internship. Please DM or send an email to lingbafortune at gmail.com. And in my fifth, must have swag in brackets sharp sharp. <laughs> ah, bro, you can't be working with Ben Sol and you look the way you are. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You In brackets sharp sharp. But you know, if you speak to them, it's just like lingo. Yeah. 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 And so if you. Because, uh, I mean, this is public. So, if you want to work with Suda, basically, mm-hmm. what you're saying is lingbafortune at gmail.com. His Instagram is lingba. Uh, if mm-hmm. you can work under pressure. <laughs> yeah. You know, pressure, you know, but swag, you know swag. people think, uh, <laughs> but you have to be very swagged out. No, work under pressure. <laughs> 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 and swagged out. <laughs> 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 uh, many. <laughs> Oh yeah, boiling. Are you boiling? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, so that's for anyone who uh, fits that description. Mm-hmm. Cardi B is back putting out music, guys. I think she's Cardi about B. to drop an album. I think so. Yeah, but I, fully, I, fully done with. Was it? Who was it? Offset. Uh, Offset. Who knows? Manenoya yeah. utaiju. Walikuwa walikuwa nini pa moja? Manenoya ningu. Walikuwa Valentine's together, right? Mm. But man, they have two kids together, bro. So, but so, so, <laughs> hmm? so it changes the dynamics. What it does. So the thing is, 
if me if if you're dating somebody mm. and it's just dating and there's nothing else involved mkiachana mnyachana is fine when you have kids together hata mkiachana you have to raise these kids bro that's fine but we'll but, but, figure that out but, but that, that's what i mean so when you see them together the thing with people is or oh, they, they were seen together they're still ah, together. together maybe they're not mm. they just have kids it changes the dan- dynamics of their relationship yeah. Because if it's, not if it's like a birthday, it does. Like, come on. No, so it's your kids you are seen together at a strip club. Kids will angle up your story. That's fine. Yeah, that's different. That's, <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm saying. When the, See, maybe they were you're seen... blowing off some steam <laughs> after raising the kids. Shut up. After, raising, after the kids. raising the kids all day. <laughs> so you need a birthday for the kids. Then now you need to <laughs> yeah. celebrate as parents. We raised a nice kid. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, But, we absolutely don't. Say that again. You need what? Oh, sorry. Okay. On normal messages? on my whatsapp ah uh, hold up hold up hold up it just makes sense after oh, ah thanks bro appreciate that mm-hmm. so because it's something we're going to cover there's a new update so ah, fantastic appreciate that ah uh, so yeah after raising the kids you mm-hmm. go see the place where you don't want to see them end up <laughs> <laughs> I agree bro. <laughs> I agree. You're like we don't have our kids here. Yeah. But also <laughs> what, what are the chances? What are the chances yeah. that if in the same city even even if it's for the kid or not, yeah. they're going to end up at the same spot. What if you are all yeah. superstars at some caliber? Mm. If you're or not you, enemies, or you're genuinely not invited. Yeah. Some of the club owners like, "Yo, we'd like to have you yeah. over." And sometimes because you're not together doesn't mean you're enemies. Just means you're just say that. You're yeah. just linking up for back shots. Yeah. yeah, and also just cuz Cardi twerked on Offset. That's the baby daddy. I yeah. feel like you should be able to twerk on a baby daddy every now and for again. For life. Yeah, it's fine Even if you yeah. get remarried. <laughs> yeah, like Will Smith, sometimes you can go on uh, you can go on holidays together, you know, just you yeah, just the two ex. of you. Yeah, it's fine, man. It's allowed. Mm. <laughs> But I was like, it's like can you call Raymond? <laughs> you know, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're back on Cardi. So the reason I bought Cardi B up mm-hmm. also is just um uh the conversation we called uh, Chris Kaiga earlier on the show. Guys yeah. remember? I think something came up about Chris Kaiga and we're like shit yeah, we've hey, not had yeah. music from we've him. not heard from Chris in a while. So yeah. we called Chris on the show and he was like he's cooking. I'm working but I'll be ready when I'm ready. Yeah. Um I feel like when it comes to arts only musicians get the pressure of when I drop when mm. bro you could literally drop an album today mm. next month Guys are like hey when are you dropping music? <laughs> yeah. uh, 20 songs in an album? <laughs> Cuz if you look at comedy uh art forms If you look yeah. at any other art form, only musicians get the pressure yeah. of they feel like they constantly Internet. need to keep dropping, yeah. keep yeah. dropping, keep dropping. No one asks like visual artist when is your next painting, I, right? <laughs> yeah, but it, it, when when I, when is your next? No, painting? but I feel even authors, authors yeah. definitely get pressure. Like when's your next book? Not as much. They do actually. Really? You think so? They do. I promise you, especially Kwanza, the ones who have bestsellers, yeah. they have the worst pressure. I, I promise feel like they, you. They get pressure if if it's a continuous story. Like I like, oh, yeah. like, like yeah. if, you, if you write 50 shades of gray then you write 50 shades darker. Mm. Then, oh this be but Col- yeah. Colleen Hoover Hoover something like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. but uh, I hear but I promise you musicians. Of much. course we, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the thing with also the things they put out are consumed consumed in minutes. True. Yeah. You work two years for someone to listen to in 50 seconds. One hour. Can you imagine just the way for it? <laughs> you could even work for on a song for two, two years, years bro and that minutes. thing is just two and a half minutes. Even two and a yeah. half minutes. Can interlude can take two years. No can issue. Can interlude. I know it's two years, bro. And then it drops. Guys are like, "Uh-huh. So next, <laughs> when are you dropping? Nice. No, serious. This is nice. Okay, next. Next. <laughs> next release. So I put that because Cardi was yeah. I think because she's doing she's doing her mid run and I like what she said. Mm-hmm. So this is on complex um and the question is just about where she's been and this was her response. I have a couple of problems with music. I feel like Sorry, let's get the volume up kidogo. You good? couple of problems with music. I feel like I don't like nothing. That's one of my things. Like, cause like, I record a song, I love it, two days later, I'm like, I'm over it. To be honest with you, I don't even really like anything that's out right now. I listen to music that came out eight, 10, 20, 30 years ago. Maybe I'm just like, so into breaking things down now. Mm-hmm. You know, when you overanalyze yeah, everything, sure. your music and other people's music, that I'm like, I just don't, I don't, I don't know what I like anymore. I don't know if it's because I'm just, I just don't be liking nothing. And also because it's just, it's just not as fun anymore. Like when you go to the booth, Or like when you record you just like having fun you're creating but now it just be feeling like it's a pressure like it's mm. it's such a pressure like like when I did when I did um I call it cuz because we named it cuz you already I was having fun and then it's like I have I have fun recording it I have fun doing the video when it came out 
Jesus Christ. I was like, damn, like, hold up. I just came back. Yeah, yeah, it's going too rough on me. I got to get that out of my mind because that's what fucks it up. I have a couple of problems. She has a couple of things. She makes sense. So when, yeah, the patience of, sometimes the art is ready when the art is ready. Mm. But think about now, this is not the best example, but it's sort of still in line. Mm -hmm. We, our pod drops every week and we record every week. Yeah. So because we record every week, we feel like the material is fresh to go out. Yeah. Remember the time we had recorded too much and then we like, guys, we have yeah. to pause. Because now it feels like it's not yeah. new anymore. We have enough in the Now vault. can you imagine yeah. recording music and you can't drop it. You sit on it for a while and you just fall out of love with it. Yeah. Because yeah. you can't drop music every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? This nigga's record music and the city. Unless you're a breeder. Ah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Friday. Hey. <laughs> I think also, yeah. maybe for breed, even those things on IG, because yeah. they're not official releases, it's yeah. more like, you may record, if yeah. I sit with it, it will never go out. Yeah. yeah. So I just, just well. put it on well, Let me test the waters and then if it does well, full yeah. song out. Because also, Octo says he sits with songs at least like two years and then drops. Damn. If he still loves the song after two years, he'll yeah. drop it. If he doesn't, it's rubbish. Sit, yeah. We should do that with our podcast. <laughs> so we keep this episode. <laughs> Can you imagine if we... 2026 in Dr. Nongeli. here. Imagine if yeah. we stayed with this episode for even two weeks, bro. At a way, when you watch it back, you'll be like, no, like, guys, yes, this is not yeah, going out. Let's yeah. record something yeah. else. And with musicians, I can only imagine, man. Zuri had no option. No, but yeah. it's crazy because she said she doesn't like anything that's out right now. Yes. Isn't she part of the docket of guys that are releasing the same kind of music right now? And it's okay not to Probably, like it. Yeah. yeah. But also, remember, she's not released in a while. So yeah. maybe I was part of this wave, but doesn't. it's not fun to me anymore. Yeah. So that's why I haven't been releasing. She can also hate her own songs. Yeah. You remember when Dakap was telling us, he, we were like, hey, you, do you remember you, how broken we were? Yeah. You haven't played Mama. It's like, I, I fucking don't like that song. For context, yeah, like, this is us in Amboseli. Yeah. Dakapo is headlining Gondwana. Mm. Then... Because anyway, it's who we are. We end up with the couple after the gig somewhere. Mm. Still in number seven, just in a private house. Mm. One of the homies. And then we just we're just being fans. Mm. And we ask, you didn't play Mama. That's a song we love so much. And he says, I hate that song. Mm. Literally, so like I don't hate that song. He doesn't like playing it. Even that's that's why he doesn't play it. He doesn't like, like it. Every time he this plays is it. our favorite song, bro. It's like, think about your favorite Bian song. And then like, Bian, how come you never play this song? Lost and found in Nezalia. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> hey, we're so heartbroken after we didn't ask questions. Yeah, but then it's like, is it the vocals? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to remaster it? Yeah. Yeah, that's sad. And it's a beautiful song. Bro, that's that, sad. But also, it just... But, Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, um, Joe Biden. So on his podcast, he was talking about this wave of this female. He he. he okay, mm -hmm. I won't quote quote, yeah. but he said something along these lines. Like he feels like female rappers, like the female rap era, is kind yeah. of done. Wait, that would be in reference to what's popular. Cardi, now, like Cardi. Spice, no, no, Meg, yes, yes. The popular. Actually, yes, the the popular sound. The second like, Glorilla, yes. all, all these babes, Sexy Red. Mm. Them lot. So, he, and now he was talking now in reference to Cardi who's about to drop the album and he goes, right now, you can tell, apparently he says you can tell that Cardi is afraid because she knows probably the album might not do so well because like, like she just said, this genre is like, it's, it's not giving yeah. as it was giving. So it's like, okay. So for him, he feels like that era is kind of done and that's why I feel like even in the market right now, guys are very hell-bent on going back to the classics. Like guys are sampling more Older music, mm. even Kenya, there's so much old school R and B. Oh, Urban tone. Yeah, <laughs> forget forget the Urban tone. How many <laughs> posters do you see in a week of old school R and B branch? Mm. Old school to do sing along to do what? Yeah, yeah. Key. Even B and D, one of the most successful nights is Wednesday. Wednesday when yeah. it's just something for the honeys and it's R and B. Yeah. yeah, like rah. I don't know what's going on in music, but it needs to be fixed. But isn't that the same thing with music and fashion? Mm. Is that these cycles keep coming back. Yeah. yeah. So whatever is trained now, it's just like a lot of like hip hop heads yeah. um, who don't really li like trap because they're like trap is not really rapping, rapping. You know, mm. like Fena, when when Femi said when she did um, what's the song with Christoph? Her first commercial song. Um, Tipito. Tipito. Yeah. And then old heads in Liverpool like, oh, woo, when oh. sell out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that era comes mm -hmm. and then it disappears. So mm. trap is the new thing now. Yeah. But also the age of actually rapping is still gonna come back. Same yeah. thing with fashion. So it's always just a cycle. Like era things come back. Come back. Yeah. yeah. Facts. So the, the, so the thing is, you hope it's like 
uh, guys who are into that type of hip hop and fashion who says the 70s was the best era because yeah. yeah. they love the sound that came out in the 70s. Yeah. That sound is also still coming back slowly. Mm-hmm. True. So we're going to get back to it. So it's a cycle. And a lot of soul as well. And the people who are stuck in the 90s rap. Yes. And the people who are like, Biggie, Tupac, Biggie, yeah. Tupac. Like, come on. They're nice. <laughs> There's a lot of music that has come out ever since. Yeah. Even in, even yeah. trap in its entirety, if you mm. listen to it, there's also really, really good trap yeah. songs. True. Like really, really good trap yeah. songs, you know. So it's not like the whole thing is a bad thing. Like yeah. you remember that era for, was it like 2000 and something? Like 2008 to like 2014. To eight, 2014. Can, uh, Masad on the B, no. when, when Masad was in later. his bag. To eight is when... Like, when Primary, bro. How how's that? Your eight is when <laughs> when Lil Wayne had this whole cohort of Akina Drake, like, Nicki Minaj. Uh, young money. Young For money. context, yes. two eight is <laughs> Alikiba Cinderella. Yeah. You won't go. <laughs> Hold on, let's check. Uh, uh, Ooh, won't go. There is no way Cinderella uh, was two eight. Uh, yeah, that's the one I was expecting. Two eight is when like. Hey, when I don't have Alikiba on back. I don't have. I mean, mm. Cinderella. I See, there's no way Cinderella. Nakshim Rembo. Yeah. There's no way that was 2008. Bro. If it's it's to eight, to a six, to a eight up. No. Hold up, hold up. I get it. He's on Apple Music. We'll see when the don't album check came the, out. Don't check the videos. No, check. no, I, no. I'm I'm literally going to the album. Okay. Check when the album came out. Hold mm. up, albums. Cinderella to a six. Yeah, to a six to eight. Look at your error. I promise you. Yeah. So there's no way it was mustard because mustard is yeah. Mustard is when Tiger is a big deal. That yeah. uh, that era now. After now, no, but the, the actually even after Tiger, after Young Money now, the because the, Young Money some people stayed behind. Yes. Um, and then the the, the Drakes and the Nicki Minajes and the actually now that yeah. era is you're talking about like in high school Nicki Minaj. Yeah. yeah. Nah, 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 high school. Because they broke up. That's from the era now. now. It was called Bedrock. I can make Bedrock. Your bed. Yeah. Let's check when high school came out. Nick yeah. Minaj, right? I can make a bed. I high school. No. High school. I was in high school. That, 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 so that's high school. That was yeah. high school. You talk about that's like 2012. High school. I was in high school. Because he's talking in, about 2014. So I'm saying 20, that era. 2008, 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Like mid- that was 2000. like in a Jason baby. Uh-huh. Are you done? I think that's, yeah, that's baby, that, that, that should be around that time. So high school. Let me go to... Dropped in 20... High school soldier, by so, 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 10, soldier, 11, 12, soldier. maybe. No, soldier, no, 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 no. no. So high school... Uh, wait, wait. High school dropped in 2012. So is that Told era? you. Yeah. That era. Yeah. <laughs> so this is... Because yeah. now this is... Now Kamula picking... Young money is the biggest and hottest thing. Yes. Um. Now, even I can a call by yeah. the way, like, Coming, that's when now what, what, yeah. workout was no. Yeah. All I want is you actually. That's when Miguel was actually coming into the scene, yeah. bro. Shout out to Miguel. That, that was a good fucking that's era. That's a good era, yeah. Mm. So that's the that's the era Kadi's talking about. Yeah. Oh no, Kadi's talking about the era earlier. Before that, leading into that earlier, Kadi is actually talking this about is... Ma- Cinderella now. Kadi was listening to Alikiba. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking you serious for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> serious. No, this Kadi is like, no, actually. Mm. That's when actually bands were a thing. Yes. Destiny's Child. No, oh. Destiny's a band. Yeah. yeah. Destiny's a band. 2000. That's, that's, so that's, you've said the era before. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Cardi's era. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. that's what Cardi now is talking about. Will you listen to the album when it's out? Tough. I will. I'll, I'll skim through. I, in the, if he, I shoot, invasion yeah, of privacy is good, bro. It's fine. I feel like it's also fine, bro. Like, so yeah, much this has is her second her album in the longest yeah, time, yeah. so hey. I'll listen. If I don't like it, I don't like it. Yeah. Ah, that yeah. sucks because that's the thing with my car, bro. Me, like for the last <laughs> how many years, uh-huh. any any new music, I just gonna drive because the sound is so good mm. and then just smooth. <sighs> A month, it's <laughs> hang tight because I'm sheepy. Because I'm sheepy. Anyway, no more airbox. I'm man. Ni anza kutambia tu na 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 nini na boombox kwa dada. Bluetooth kwa shingo. <laughs> JBL. <laughs> hey, masema Bluetooth kwa shingo. Useme hivyo. Unajua Bluetooth unajua Ernest. Amesema Bluetooth. Oh, tembea na Bluetooth. There's some kind of inside jokes. I'm not checking in. You know, but just cuz the baby showed you. BT. So Mimi, cuz we cuz I don't know za kumuta Bluetooth. So me and Raymond tunaanza kumuta Bluetooth. Is BT. Anyway, let's talk about you and Raymond. <laughs> shameless. <laughs> the Brutus joke is not connected. <laughs> shameless individuals. So, um, so someone else who just has some charisma around him mm-hmm. is um Adamson Idris, bro. 
Yes. Is that Niger sauce? He's so smooth. Mm-hmm. It's Niger sauce. So this is him. One congrats to him. Yeah. Yeah. For fans of Snowfall, I haven't watched it. Uh, he won Outstanding Actor in a Drama Series at, okay, Snowfall, at yeah. NAACP Image Awards. And this was his acceptance speech. Man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, and it feels, I don't know, maybe this was written, mm-hmm. but it also feels like no, it was too, uh, Yeah, it was so authentic. But this is him. This is like, this kid. So he's been announced. Yeah. We're now walking up to the podium. Mm-hmm. And then it is actually his first career win. Okay. Yeah. And then this is his speech. Wow. Six years. Woo. Thank you, God. Man, my mother, she um she flew from Lagos, Nigeria, 17 hours. <laughs> to be here with me tonight. <laughs> Before she got on a plane, she said, Damn, see, if I come to Los Angeles, you better win. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, NAACP. (laughs) Good to me. Shout out to my Snowfall family. This award's been won by so many heroes of mine James L. Jones, Michael K. Williams. Lawrence Fishburne, I'm honored to be standing amongst them. I'm honored to be standing amongst you, people who inspire me every single day, people who make art that they could be proud of, art for the present, the, the past, the future. It's peace and love. Hopefully Denzel knows who I am now. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for this honor. Love you all. Peace. Nice. That was, it feels I know. off the mark. It feels it, like... It does, yeah. right? Yeah. He doesn't feel written. All the time you hear him speak, he's always just a funny dude. True. You know, he has just this funny... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to when you. was the last time you gave a speech like in front of people? Or you had Speeches? to give a speech? Any, any speech. <sighs> for, of course, me for work, bro. Mm. We have so many partners and whatnot. There's always presentations and speeches. Mm. Yeah. I think like, because even yesterday when... Like when guys were doing the round of speeches for... The 50 of yeah. you. <laughs> so, you know, like guys are going to... You, you're thinking of saying like, Sasanta Semanini next. Mm. So me started my <laughs> bonus if you <laughs> and then everyone just laughed. <laughs> yeah. And you guys were saying these things like, oh, um, on behalf of me and my family, blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of me. Seek company more. On behalf of me on behalf of me of me and checkmates. Bro. Yeah. Imagine do it next time. Just be on That's behalf of me and checkmates. Say. Yeah. Mm, some of which are here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I feel like if if you go to receive an award and you're on the nominee list and you're positive, it feels like you're gonna win. There's just things in your mind that come up. Yeah. Because especially if you notice all the best pictures they have, like, they, they name, no, I, I don't want to call it name dropping, but there'll be particular people who'll be called out or mentioned um, in a particular set or order. Like, um, he's mentioned his, he said? God, mom. Um, no, the actors. Uh, Michael yeah. K. Williams. Yeah. Like his heroes. Who won, who won, who won the award the before yeah. him. Because it feels nicely structured. It gives like the flowers to the people who came before him and ends on a lighter note with a joke yeah. with one of the biggest black actors to ever live. I'd yeah. say. Honestly. Yeah. Like it's really just well it done. Nice yeah. structured, yeah. yeah. Um, do you guys have Twitter check? Uh, we, we, we can't call it X check, bro. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Twitter check still makes sense. Everyone still says Twitter everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yangu How long have you guys been rolling? Kingia Konyumba. One already? Uh, we do Twitter check and then mm. John Falma, we finish. We have too many stories. Because yeah. hey, the week was so packed. Yeah, was so I mean, it's because we recorded much. on Thursday. There was just yeah, so much was a in lot between. Because yeah. yeah. we had Friday, Monday. Saturday, Sunday of material. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I have two Twitter checks, as you mm. find. Hey, okay, this one is Millicent Romanga. Hey. She posted a pic of herself in a teal dress. You say the color is teal, right? Yeah. And then she captioned, Friday is the perfect day to finish strong and set the tone for a fantastic weekend. Mm-hmm. At Dan, Super Dan 2 responded, hashtag, let the cat breathe. I need to see the photo. <laughs> I need to see the photo. I'm it's, it's, a picture. Photo. it's okay. Then I'll put it on. The, it's just a picture of Millicent Romanga. Okay. With a nice caption, you know. She has a pet. No, she's wearing just a teal dress. Just sign. <laughs> 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 I'm not a cat person. I don't have to repeat it, but the guy was like, hashtag let the cat breathe. Anyway. People started calling that thing on Twitter lasagna. <laughs> but then who, that who, means on Twitter. Who, who came up with that? I thing? don't know. I just see like lasagna maiva. Like when, when <laughs> women wear like those. Leather, know, like, like a leather, leather skirt or leather pants. Leather pants. Like, exactly. I'm like, what? Lasagna I've never also. known what that means. I swear. I've seen yeah. it before. Not a lot, but I've seen it before. Yeah. At Juliet Had Tea. 
a picture mm-hmm. of a sh- but it's just a door that has been like broken down into a couple of pieces. Yeah. And then I <laughs> some um, caption. All I did was grab his phone at Fago <laughs> underscore baby. No, at Fago underscore responded. Baby, he's cheating on you with a man. Facts. Straight mm, facts. Bono ubomo e milango. It's because I'm as well ubomo. Come on, Asia, Atlanta, New Kweli. New Kweli? Yeah. you have anything else? Mm, yeah. Okay, so, there's this guy. Um, His handle is Hiccup. Mm. So, he says, Ndengu tastes like poverty. So, this guy called Osomali says, Kwanza kunya maju to yo handle. Hmm? Dude, uh, did you just say the guy is called the guy is called Hiccup? Ah. Uh, to start with. Uh, uh, to, uh, 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 to start with, but I can't start. Kuna direction. Ah, yeah. So this one says, this, his name is Simotuchi. He says, one reason Gengetone fell is over sexualizing everything. Kenya is too liberal of all high South African neighbors, but we are still conservative with matters of sex. So this account Chemosi responds and says baby nakuja baby nakuja hapo unadhani je melody alikuwa anaenda safari ama <laughs> Okay another one star Ah uh, four stars let's... combined <laughs> <laughs> Okay so this one was about the um <laughs> doctor <laughs> strike <laughs> No I'm just but they lazim three times At this rate But I feel like kujiridi kujiridi mna kwanga yako mwas. Ina kwanga tu. This is specifically just for you. But the third one is always banging. No, the rest of us can fumble. <laughs> so this one. The rest of us can fumble. This one he says ati boys wangu kwa na some work strategies to meet new women. Kama leo ananishutushike lab coat na tuvuvuzela tuli tukajishindie madaktari. <laughs> That's a good one. See, maybe she makes a joke that is all doctors should know. Alafu <laughs> <Not, laughs> si cheke. But that's a good one. Eh huko kuna baki like ana kila mtu kule. Anyway, so lastly, mm-hmm. John Falme and to give the breakdown and then I'll get what um I'll go so through what he, okay for the update here. Just the background of what the situation is with Joe. Um so basically Joe was hit like some this cop mm. a DCI cop hit his car. Then they got into an altercation. Then later some three Kikuyu police officers also hit mm. Kikuyu like the tribe I'm from Kikuyu from Kikuyu Kikuyu police. Okay. Kikuyu police, the, the Kikuyu police okay. officers. Yeah. Three of them also hit this said DCI cop. Then he got ho- um he got home something like that I think he was he was, like he was bleeding or something mm-hmm. so he gets home the wife takes him to hospital so his health deteriorates and so homie comes. passes away yeah yeah when they say hit like the car like, like an, an accident like a gongagari na nyuma oh okay yeah but then they hit him hit the guy physically like now Joe they beat him up. punched the guy yeah. when yeah so later see wakachana so this guy akiendelea na safari yake I don't know what happened with those other three cops in Kikuyu, mm-hmm. but even them, they assaulted him. Yeah. Yes. So the guy was assaulted and died. It began with John Falme and then police got involved. Yes. Yeah. So they are, I've sent you a message. That's a statement from John Falme's Instagram. Uh, mm. One second. Let's go through it. Is it positive? Um, I've, just, I've just okay. seen it. Yeah, it's okay. Let's, let's so it. it says, um, Dear esteemed friends, supporters, and well wishes. When is today? March? is 23rd 24th 24th so this yeah. is literally it's lit- when loki uh, called my name is cuz it just, just dropped just yeah. okay so he says um this is a public statement solely aimed at addressing the recent developments surrounding the regrettable incident that has come to attention of the general public first and foremost we express our deepest sympathies to the family friends and those impacted by this unfortunate incident dj do DJ Joe Falme and his team have been in close collaboration with the investigative agencies since the occurrence of the incident. DJ Joe Falme and his team are fully committed to participating in the investigative procedure and will continue to extend their cooperation as may as may be required. We place our trust in God Almighty in particular and the authorities in general to conduct a comprehensive and transparent investigation aimed at uncovering the truth. Once again we convey our sincerest apologies to the bereaved family and friends affected by this distressing event given the ongoing investigations and the sensitive nature of the matter we shall refrain from making any further statements at this time we deeply appreciate your understanding and unwavering support 
We shall purpose to update you once the inv investigations are complete. Thank you, DJ John Farmer. Whew. It's crazy, bro. Because yeah. yeah. like Joe, because I've worked with Joe for a while. Mm -hmm. He's literally the most unproblematic person we'll ever mm -hmm. come across. Mind his business, grinds. My dad nigga grinds, bro. Mm -hmm. At like when I'm when I knew Joe, this is Joe at his peak. This is Joe who has who just wants three gigs in one night. Damn. This is Joe who has four gigs in one night. This is Joe who's booked every day. Mm. Like when it's not the weekends, he's fully booked in corporate. Like yeah. he has all the safari call mod not going. This is weekdays. Yeah. Then from Wednesdays, clubs, Joe clubs, has clubs, two clubs, at minimum clubs. two gigs a night. All day and Joe weekend. does all these gigs. Yeah. Mind his business. Joe. No I've never had no him raise his raise. Uh, I've never had him raise his voice. Mm -hmm. Polite, doesn't drink. Like he, this is what is just leaves. the guy who I've just been like, this is just a cool guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so when this news broke, I was like, damn, he's literally just very unproblematic. At least from yeah. with my, my own experience, you know. So this is just sad, man. Like that. literally, how was when someone died? A so. squeaky clean image to the first scandal, and just it being the most outrageous it's not the first yeah. scandal. Because he, he was involved in the whole yeah, Shafi and whatever scandal, okay. which is the only scandal I know of, Joe. This but was the see, only that, that, that was a group. That was a work, whatever. So and even if you watch that clip, but man, he, he didn't say anything. anything. He laughed. Yeah. He just so laughed. he's excused. Ish. Um, I mean, Ish. Mm, mm. Ish. Oh, we're trying to revisit. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Focus. Yeah. But solely at the Ajom Falme scandal, it's never been there. Yeah. Like That's what I'm saying. Him, and yeah. for the first one to drop, like, this is just like, bro. And involve someone dying. Yeah. A police officer. Bro, you know some... Yeah. Not bro. just any. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A DCI. Have you ever been... Have you ever been in any it. situation that made you think I should just roll my sleeves? Have you ever, 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 ever? I mean, I felt really angry. Oh, that's like you could say bad at all. I could not have been You know, like, let me just touch you up. Let me touch up nicely. A bit of makeup. So, I'm just saying there's those situations yeah. that could aggravate you to the position to the point where you wanna, mm. you know, you just feel like, come on, man. Yeah. But for it to be this extreme. Then this person dies. Come on, Lewa, is your blanket, Milik was Kekwa Piga. That's on Naka your day. Now your day. Now your day. If I know how to fight. What day? <laughs> I don't know how to fight, but if I know I can beat you, maybe oh, I'll engage. If I think I can beat you, I can engage. Like but if I'm guys, not sure... We've caught them. We're at the cops. Yeah. They're taunting us. And they're organizing how the funds can be returned through the cell. Yeah. And then they're just talking smack. And the cops are just not doing anything, yeah. bro. I'm like, guys, like, are you not police officers? Mm. And this is happening literally to Kotuapa. And they're released the next day, I think. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> they're literally saying, what, what's your phone? It's an iPhone. What's your phone? You see jokes? I laugh like, where can see me with Zuri? So, that, you know what I mean? So, if in those situations, <laughs> but then I'm just like, yeah. of course, luckily, if you're not a violent person, you get away with yeah. it. You know, it's just what you're saying. If you have yeah. anger issues, don't get a gun. Because you're going to shoot somebody. Yeah, yeah you know? sure. So, for Joe, man, this just happened to Joe. I'm just, it's yeah. very sad. It's but sad. also, man, someone died. Because regardless of what happened, I'm going to go to Gary. bro, Gary, and then Gary, I'm going to go to the same day. I'm going to go to the same day. You know what I mean? You didn't so get to the same You know what I mean? It's a fucking car, bro. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a write off, it's a fucking car. You can always get a car. Like it's a car, bro. It's a material thing. You know, all life this, is not replaceable. Just hit in the moment, moments. Like, Are they worse? Maybe too. Yeah. Because yeah. you can hit someone once. And they get a blow to the head, which leads to like something serious. True. And then they're gone. This lawyer tweeted, "You're only one decision away from jail." Yeah, but it's true. Yeah. Literally one decision away. Throw a bottle at a club, it hits someone badly, they die. Even if it doesn't hit them badly, you are hit too. If they go, yeah. if they take you uh, to court, you'll be prosecuted yeah. for for that. Yeah, for assault. Yeah. Sure. I mean, this is just a sad uh, situation, you know, because I'm yeah. like. Of course, if Joe, if they beat this guy, for sure, come on, you're going to I don't know. That's the, and that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you deal with people who are at fault, but then they just rude people. Yeah. gonga, like, you know, it's like when I'm gonga. It just shows you, bro. I feel like sometimes just keep your calm. It doesn't hurt. Imagine the worst that could happen if you keep your calm is that maybe one has a helper too, and mm. then you'll incur big financial losses. Yeah, or you can follow up with them. And or you can them. follow up with them. But if you fight, nini, exchange words, nini, things could be done, bro. Because mm. also this is a DCI officer. <laughs> so someone who's armed. Yeah. yeah. Most likely armed. So when is armed? So, man, I'm going to pick a bro. I'm going to pick a bar, bro. Yeah. Billy, come attack, bro. 
Ana no type ona. Take a chini. Kuna na TV kama umepiga magoti kwa nyumba. Unakuwa position of give head always. It's true. Mataka is just fat. Kuna nge za sick. It's true. Let's do head master. Afa kupiga clean clean vile hata you can't sit on the side. This is someone who knows how to fire gun. Yeah, this someone who knows fire gun. So to kimbia ni za pima tu kidondo. Probably has a bit of experience in protecting themselves self defense and what not. So man, yeah. But I hope like that they're, they're just clean with the postmortem report and everything cuz I feel like that's what what the How case clean, is hanging bro? on. Cuz if if well, yeah, they stopped with Joe, they had an altercation. Yeah. We don't know what happened. Could yes. be a punch, could be a whatever, we don't know. Yeah. And then went and had another accident. So who's with witnessing? Cuz the person the person is dead now. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying if Joe says me hit him on the head, but then this guy died from trauma from his liver or like another mm. organ. You know what I mean? They just okay. need to be open with the ah, facts. Okay. Yeah. Because it, it might easily land him like behind bars. Because yeah. unless unless there's yeah. witnesses who are credible, yes. who the court can vet and say actually they're credible witnesses yeah. who can say this is the X and X happened. Mm. If both Joe and the cops beat up this guy, then yeah. it's hard to say who who inflicted. You know, inflicted you beat this guy, he died. All true. of you. Or if the injuries were from the accidents, the two accidents, you never know. Oh, we don't know how bad yeah. the car accidents were. Yeah. yeah. It's it's tricky, and yeah. I'm sure it's in a road where there's no CCTV. Bro, CCTV, so traffic lights are kuna. Kenyan yeah. roads are dark at night. Yeah, it's a tricky situation to yeah. be in, to be honest. Anyway, man, mm. you know, um, condolences to the family for sure and the loved ones, and then for Joe. I mean, you just let the just law be take its own course. Because what do you yeah. do? Of course, you condone it for the rest of the is, weekend yeah. until you know things happen. Yeah, I think a good place to end it. No. King and Daniel Nyumba. Motoka inje. Episode 148. We are Mark Chuck. Over 26. This is the Burger Podcast. This is the Brunch Club. Over 26. The mics are closed. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs>